Hi everyone and welcome to GSC at Home. My name is Andy and I work at the Glasgow Science Centre. Today you're going to be designing a land yacht. I guess the first question that you will have is what is a land yacht? Well, a land yacht is a car with sails or a boat with wheels. That means that it's a vehicle powered by the wind that travels on land. It's a mixture of a boat and a car. They don't have engines, so they can be very light, and they're often raced on huge stretches of open land or beaches because they can travel very fast. So today, once you have constructed your land yacht, you will hopefully manage to take them outside to a safe space and let the wind power them. If that's not possible, you can use a fan or even a hairdryer on a cool setting in your home. The hope is your land yacht could travel a good distance of up to four or five metres, so the biggest space that's available is best. So now it's time to start thinking about the design of your land yacht. Uh, what is it going to look like uh, and how is it actually going to work? So you're going to have to consider the following things. How many wheels is your land yacht going to have? Is it going to have three wheels? Is it going to have six wheels? Maybe you only want one wheel. I don't know why you would do that, but you may design a land yacht with only one wheel. Uh, the next thing you want to consider is the size of your land yacht. Do you want it to be quite large so that it's quite stable on the ground? Or do you think that the lighter and the smaller your vehicle is, the faster it will go? These are all things for you to consider. The next thing that you're definitely gonna to have to consider is the size and shape of your sail. Do you want it to have one or two sails? What is the placement of the sails on the body of your land yacht? There's a lot of things to take into consideration when designing this vehicle. Now, hopefully you've managed to collect together uh, all the kit that you need from the list that we supplied to you. Uh, what I thought I would do is show you some of the parts uh, which I managed to make from my own recycling, uh, how I made the wheels and how I actually attached them to the body. Uh, I'm going to construct my wheels very simply out of some cardboard. I've got a nice piece of cardboard uh, from a box here. Uh, I've got a pen and I've got a cup, a pair of scissors that you can see on this side, and then one of these. This is going to act as the axle for our wheels. It's going to allow our wheels to turn freely uh, inside the body of our land yacht. Now I'm using a kebab skewer. Uh, you can use metal kebab skewers if you have them. You could also possibly uh, use chopsticks if you have them. If you don't have any of these things, uh, I've found that actually taping some spaghetti together, maybe six or seven strands of spaghetti, uncooked obviously, uh, taping them together and then using them as an axle works quite well too. So let's get on to making our wheels. I'm just gonna make one wheel uh, for you at the moment. The next thing that I would do is just take my skewer and very, very carefully attach it like so. And there we are. We have one wheel for our land yacht. Great, so now that we know how to make the wheels and the axles that are gonna go on our land yacht, let's have a think about how to construct uh, the body of our land yacht. So here uh, I've decided that the main part of my body that I'm going to use is this uh, strawberry tub, okay? Uh, we're basically gonna use that. And in order to give the land yacht a bit of stability on the ground, I'm going to extend uh, the base of my land yacht out towards the front here. Now, uh, I think in order to attach this bit of my tube onto the tub, I'm going to cut into uh, the tube here, but I'm not going to cut straight across. I'm going to cut down the side to make a flat section that I can attach with tape. Here we go. So now that I have attached uh, the body of my land yacht together, and I'm quite happy with it. Uh, I'm now going to put the axles and the wheels into place on my land yacht. The way that I am going to do it is I'm going to thread my wheels onto the axle. I'm going to thread it 
over to the side like this and I've already pre-punched some holes uh, using scissors into the, the body of my land yacht. So let's move on to actually making our sail. Now that I've got my wheels, uh, I've got the body, uh, everything is starting to really take shape here. The wheels are a little bit flimsy, but you know, it's lightweight. It's hopefully going to go roll really well uh, once our sail catches the wind. So next thing is to attach that sail. Now you might see I've already got one mast uh, attached. Uh, to my land yacht on the inside of the tub here. I'm just going to attach another mast. Now this is the design that I've chosen uh, for my land yacht. You guys don't have to do this design, you can do something completely different. Maybe you've got a different idea about where the mast uh, should go or the way that the mast is actually attached to your land yacht. What I've done for my sail is I've just folded a piece of paper in half and then punched some holes. Again, this is my design for the land yacht and it doesn't have to be yours, but uh, that's what I've come up with through all my experimentation whilst making this video. Now that I have a completed design, I think it's time to test it. You guys could always spend a bit of time decorating your vehicle. There are lots of ways you can make your yacht individual, adding silver foil, painting and colouring in parts, or even adding some of your favourite passengers. I, however, am going to go ahead and test my land yacht just now. I have my hair dryer, land yacht, and I've cleared a space in my living room to be my test track. Let's see how I get on. Three, two, one. After that test, I realised that my wheels are quite flimsy. So I've gone round and I have added some pieces of tape to each of the wheels in order to try and make the wheels a wee bit stiffer. Let's see how this works out. So there we go. That's how you design and build your very own land yacht. Now you might have noticed that not everything went according to plan in my build. This is perfectly normal and it happens to professional designers as well. Uh, sometimes things don't quite work out so the design has to change. It's called iterative design and it's employed in lots of different areas of engineering. Thank you very much for joining us today and join us again tomorrow at 10am for more GSE at Home.